Yeah. They they yeah, they've gone, they're done, they're finished. They're One day. Here. What's going on, everybody? I'm really excited because we have in the house right now Anne Marie and Becky G. How are you both? Woo-hoo. That was like oh, the longest yeah. I think ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I actually prepped a couple questions because this is our live, like counting down to this video right now. We shot it a couple of weeks ago in 150 degree weather in LA. <laughs> and uh, uh yeah, yo. It's, it's a crazy one. Yeah, um, and I was wearing a cardigan. Yeah. I don't sure. I, I, and you know my heels broke. I was gonna say we uh, can't forget the we can't forget the stripper the stripper heels. That the stripper heels both literally, both of they the literally heels. melted from the heat. I'm convinced because they were that <laughs> plastic material. They were like, I can't. I'm melting. Yeah, they they yeah they've gone. They're done. They're finished. They're One day that was the Something first time like I wore them. Yeah, the fir- first day I wore them and last day. They're, they're gone. Do you remember the moment where it snapped? Yeah, outside when we do the, the pose part with the picture. Oh, it was in the grass. It, it was like, oh, the no, it was, it was like the rock. Yeah, the gravel. Oh, in the gravel part. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, God. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it was rough. You know what's the worst part, though? I just want everyone to know that I am the shortest of the group. So Anne's like in her heels, and then Michael's just towering over me, and then I'm in sneakers. So we had to change my sneakers to like a platform sneaker so that I would have just a little. <laughs> I was but- wondering about that. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. That yeah, and whenever cool. we did a photo, you had to go on the top step. Uh, yeah the little apple box or like the the sta- on the stairs i was always like i had to go like one stair up compared to everybody but you know it's the life of a shorty we make it happen look at that <laughs> yo i had i had some questions for you all that i was wondering okay so uh made some cue cards Ooh. So see, ah! i want to see what you all think about this so first one's for Anne marie what is yep. your favorite city that you've ever visited? My favorite city? Oh. Um, maybe, oh, my favorite city. I've been to so many, I actually don't even know where to say. Mm. She I said, think I, I, love, I mean, was cool. I love, I mean, it's. I don't know where I've been, but I know that I love the Caribbean. So anywhere in the Caribbean, basically, I think. We'll is, take that. We'll take that favorite. one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plus one for the Caribbean. <laughs> Becky, I got one for you too. So, I heard you've been working on a new musica mexicana project. Is there oh, anything yeah. that you can it's share? Mexicana. Yeah, I had to. I had to. Rehearse that like 50 times. <laughs> is there anything anything that you can share about it? And also, do you have a favorite classic song? Oof. Um, yeah, I definitely do. There's a song called Cruz de Olvido. Um, by well, there's a lot of artists. What happens a lot in regional Mexican music is um a lot of the great will kind of cover each other's songs. So my favorite version of Cruz de Olvido is sung by Vicente Fernandez. And uh, it's a song that actually my grandpa, my dad's side, dedicated to my grandma when he was leaving her behind in Mexico to come to the United States. And it's such a beautiful song. The lyrics are so romantic. And um, it's kind of a sadder song. But I think that's the amazing thing about original Mexican music is it's very storytelling. It's almost like... um, like country music you know it's like uh sometimes you're the the story of like your dog dying or something but it's it's like really sad but it feels really good for the heart um so Cruz del Vido is like very poetic super beautiful uh so that would I would say that's one of my favorite classic songs and then as far as the album goes I would say it's like regional inspired um it's not the most traditional by our traditions but also has a lot of fusion from what us new school kids are because there's a lot of 200 percenters who 
are Mexican American, also doing Mexican inspired music. And our experience listening to this music is so different. Like growing up in LA and being Chicana was very different than like my cousins who grew up in Mexico. So that I would say is uh, something to expect in the project is like kind of a fusion and an interpretation of what our traditions are from a more new school perspective. Uh, that's that's awesome. And I, I got to say for this project in particular, we're coming your way. It was so cool to make this global of a song because there's influences from all around the world. Um, mm-hmm. And, and I, I know that it was uh, in both of you have really extensive work that you've done on your solo projects, collaborations with different artists. And it, this is still felt like a like a new thing for both of you. So I appreciate that we could work on this together. We could shoot this video together. We uh we got to merge a bunch of different parts of the world on this one song. Oh, 100%. So, yeah. Totally. Yeah. No, wait, I actually just wanted to have a little fangirl moment because, um, well, Michael, when we did our Who's <laughs> Are You Jessica TikTok, I was like, I don't get it. I don't get it yet. And then when I heard the song, I was like, oh, my God, this is one of my favorite songs now. And then and you were telling you and I were on set. We were talking about um, how you were going to be releasing the album. And I was like stressed for you because I know what that season looks like. And it's just it's a lot. And it, there's such a like, like cathartic thing that happens when you release an album because it's like your baby. But then when you release it, it's like for the world. And I just wanted to say thank you for blessing us with Unhealthy because you and I has been on repeat, like oh. in like mad. It's so good. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you're right. It is like such a weird sensation the week of release because you, you are building up to it just not being yours anymore and mm-hmm. then you're just it's not in your control but I'm so glad you like that song it is such a it's such a weird one for me because I don't normally do love songs so um that was a different different one and it's so so beautiful so I'm glad you like it yeah no I'm a little mushball I love love songs I also <laughs> love sexy songs which is why coming your way was like the one for me when I heard this I was like when I go on stage, what do I want to feel? One or two things. Like I'm on the verge of tears, usually. Or like I just want to shake my ass and have a great time. <laughs> or, or you could do both. Yeah. You could do both. Yeah. Or we could do the same time. That's me. That's me. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's the magic Daddy, Daddy is this is where it's at. That, that's a really <laughs> good segue, though, Becky, because I would, the next question I was going to ask Anne Marie was about the, the new album. So, congrats on the new album and healthy. Um, I was going to ask you, was there a specific moment while you were working on Unhealthy that you really enjoyed? And also, what's your favorite song on the album? Well, the whole album... This is a hard question. The whole album was really fun because the past two albums I've written whilst being on tour. So it's been like really sporadic and like all over the place. And this time, I took time to just focus on the writing so it was so much more fun to do this time so like the whole of it it was way more freeing and more experimental and all of this stuff so I enjoyed doing the whole thing and it was with all my friends and all just people that I love so I just it's way more enjoyable that way um I guess like working with Shania Twain was kind of crazy because I'm just like it's Shania Twain (laughs) um But yeah, You and I was a a special one because I think after the album's release, the best moments are when you actually get to perform it live because you you see what songs people respond to more than others. Because I I love Cuckoo. I have a song called Cuckoo on, on the album and it's like all about being a bit mental, which I am. And I was like, oh, I love this one the most. I love this one the most. But then when I performed You and I, I actually felt like I just needed to tell people that I was there for them. You know what I mean? Like I have a really close connection with, with my fans. And I think when I'm looking at them in the audience and I'm singing it to them to let them know that they're not alone, it's just like a really beautiful feeling. So I actually think, yeah, you and I is my favorite one right now, but it might change next week. (laughs) So beautiful. It's cathartic. For everybody to get to experience it like that. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, Becky. We uh we were in New York uh, a couple of weeks ago and we got to eat some really good food. So it's, I love food and I yeah I saw, I saw this by the way I saw this and I was very jealous. Of we were thinking videos. about you. <laughs> we thought about you the whole time. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do that soon. Okay. We'll do it all together. Um, but Becky, what <laughs> is your favorite meal that you have ever had? I know it's tough. And also, what country was oh. it? In? That's really rough. That's really, 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 really rough. I'm <laughs> such a foodie, and I just love all, I love all food. Um, well, I would say LA because that's where my mom lives, and my mom's cooking is like my favorite food. Um, but if it wasn't my mom's cooking, there's two places. One I recently just went to. It's called. Uh, it's like a pozoleria, and it's this woman named Doña Ana. She's a grandma. And she just decided to start her own little restaurant. But before she had a restaurant, she had a food stand like outside in the streets of LA. And she would make this thing called pozole. And I love pozole. It's like a soup with like hominy. And some people make it with chicken, some people with pork. Um, but she makes it like my grandma. And it's like down the street uh, from one of the studios that I work in. And so I, I go there all the time. It's so good. Um, and then I would say Mexico, there's this soup um, called Fideo, Sopa de Fideo. And there's a restaurant called Casa de Abuelos. I have a thing for grandparents and like their foods, you know, it's just very hearty. But I think their Sopa de Fideo, like nobody's business. Like I will be on a, on a separate side of Mexico City and I'm like, we got to go to Casa de Abuelos. And I get the Fideo and I eat it with this chili called Chile Serrano. And it's delicious with like just a plain handmade tortilla. It's like the simplest food, but for me, it does so much. So I would say like those are like my top two places. Adding it all to the list. That's going to be our our uh, celebration meal when we, we're back together, hopefully. You guys like spicy food, though? I love spicy. I love spicy food. I, I was going to say, I know. You and I had that um that salad, which I still dream about, by the way, it's that one will be in my top five. <laughs> yeah, that one. That I was hoping. So, Emery, next time that you're in town, I'll make sure that you uh, you try this restaurant. Uh, it's called Barbalu. It's in time place. But the video, it's time. It's time. It's time. So, so we're gonna we're gonna do a quick uh, quick wrap up. But uh, thank you so much, to you both. I want to say I really appreciate that that you could be part of this song and part of this video. I'm so excited for everybody watching this right now to get to see it and experience it. Let us know. Message us on every single platform. There's like 55 now, but message us on all of them so we can yes. see. <laughs> they're also, it's cool because they can com they're commenting live. So uh, yeah. I, I can't wait to see what everybody thinks of the video. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah. Um, and if you don't like it, don't tell us. Don't <laughs> don't comment. If you don't have anything to say, then don't say. <laughs> but you are gonna like it because it's colorful, it's energy, and it is vibes. So the there's vibe. no excuse for you to do. But I love you both. Thank Same you for here. having me. I'm so 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 proud of this one. Yeah, yeah, me too. I love well. it. So thank you. Enjoy coming your way. It's uh, it's a labor of love. It came together so nicely. I'm really grateful. And uh, check out the video. Da 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 da